The upstream sector is going through a severe crisis that will force a reinvention of itself, especially when it comes to deep water. This very crisis, though, has helped the downstream sector experience some relatively good times up until now. A new storm is forming on the horizon and one that will impact downstream directly. The combination of a mix of crudes that's heavier and sour, of stricter regulations and fuels and emissions, and more than anything else, the intense buildup of capacity in the next decade will put a lot of pressure in this business. This combination of you know, upstream and downstream scenario, though, create very interesting implications for two specific regions, Latin America and Africa. The only two regions that will remain as net exporter of crudes and net importer of derivatives. With the oversupply of crudes around the world, there will be a fight to secure market access. And these two regions have an opportunity right there to secure a room for the original crudes, especially the more challenged deep water crudes. The issue here is that the two regions have a less than desirable track record on project efficiency, marred by delays in the buildup of capacity and a cost per barrel of capacity that is more than double what is best in class around the world. This automatically raises a red flag as at this cost, the refining assets will be destroying more value downstream than they are creating for the upstream activity. It's time then for the two regions to understand what is missing in terms of project capabilities, um, operational capabilities, or even organizational capabilities that through their absence are preventing these technical capabilities from shining. Nevertheless, the opportunity is there. And as the storm quickly approaches, no matter what the course is, the time has come to take decisive action.